This is 5 Underrated Anime Series, Volume 2. The story of this anime revolves around four teenagers, a boy named Akina and three girls named Himi, Aru, and Katoha. Each one of the girls is gifted with an amazing superpower which they try to use for good purposes. Haim is a super strong girl, Ao is a mind reader and Katoha is a conjurer. On the other hand Akina is just an ordinary powerless boy. Yet, all of them are heroes. They run an office called Hayazumi Life Counseling Office, where their job is to help and protect the people of Sakurashin. Sakurashin is a town where humans coexist with some supernatural phantoms called Yaokai. The town is protected by a barrier created by the spiritual Sakura known as the Seven Pillars. The Seven Pillars barrier exists in both the human world and the Yaokai world, and is the only thing that keeps both worlds connected to each other. However, recent bizarre incidents have occurred in the town of Sakurashin, and someone has threatened its safety. It is up to this quartet of teenaged heroes to protect the town they love. Yoshino Takagawa, an ordinary teenager, is secretly dating his best friend Mahiro's younger sister, Aika. When his girlfriend Aika mysteriously dies, Mahiro disappears, vowing to find the responsible one and make him pay for murdering his beloved sister. Mahiro is contacted by Hakas Kusarab, the leader of the Kusarab clan who was left stranded on an unknown deserted island by her followers and agrees to help Hakas in exchange for her help to find out the culprit for the death of his sister and family. Yoshino continues his life as usual and doesn't hear anything from a hero in a month until he is confronted by a strange girl who holds him at gunpoint. His best friend arrives in the nick of time to save him from a certain death. Upon learning everything, Yoshino joins Mahiro on his quest to stand against the Kusarab clan who left Hakas stranded in the desert because they aim to awaken the Tree of Exodus. The Tree of Exodus is an entity whose power can bring ruin to the entire world. It is up to Yoshino and Mahiro to help Hakas save the world while inching ever closer to the truth behind Aika's death. Lucy is a special breed of human referred to as Declonius. She was born with a short pair of horns and invisible telekinetic hands called vectors that lands her as a victim of inhumane scientific experimentation by the government. Initially, Lucy is held in a facility built for experimentation, located off the coast of Kamakura City. However, once circumstances present her an opportunity to escape, Lucy, corrupted by the confinement and torture, unleashes a torrent of bloodshed as she escapes her captors. During her breakout, she receives a crippling head injury that leaves her with a split personality. The secondary personality caused by this injury represents a person with the mentality of a harmless child who has a limited speech capacity. In this state of instability, she stumbles upon two college students, Kata and his cousin Yuka. Kata and Yuka unknowingly take an injured fugitive into their care, unaware of her unstoppable murderous tendencies. They become involved with the brutal attempts to recapture Lucy by a special assault team and a number of other Declonius. This act of kindness will change their lives as they find themselves dragged into the shadowy world of government secrecy and conspiracy.
The story is placed in modern-day Kyoto. Humans of Kyoto live in the city. On the other hand there are Tanuki, that roam the earth and Tengu that roam the sky. The fable revolves around a family of Tanuki named the Shimagamo family. They have the ability to transform into anything they wish. They can even change into normal members of human society. On the other hand they can transform in any animate or inanimate object as well. The third son, Yasaburo, enjoys an energetic daily life. He often visits Professor Akadama, who is a Tengu and his teacher. Through Akadama, Yasaburo is acquainted with Benton, a human woman whom Akadama taught to fly like a Tengu. As the story unfolds, the members of the Shimagamo family deal with the foggy past that surrounds their father's untimely death. To complicate matters, Benton is a member of a social group called the Friday Fellows, which consists of people who enjoy a meal of tanuki hot pot at the end of the year. The Shimagamo family must balance between living carelessly, maintaining relationships among other tanuki families, and not getting put into a hot pot by the Friday Fellows. Long ago, High Priest Mayo had the ability to make his drawings come to life. This ability scared the other villagers and made him an outcast. In his home mountain he drew a variety of things and one of them was of surreal town called Kyoto, mirror capital. A rabbit named Koto, whom he drew as the god of the mirror capital, came to life in human form after a bodhisattva agreed to lend her body to Koto. Lady Koto managed to win the love of Mayo. They took as an adoptive child a war orphan, Yakushimaru. Then, the family transfers to Kyoto for a better life. Mayo then draws two siblings for Yakushimaru, Yase and Karama. The five of them live happily together until Lady Koto, having fulfilled her end of the deal with the Bodhisattva, has to be taken away. After that Mayo leaves to Yakushimaru the title of High Priest and his prayer beads, telling him that he will return with the beginning and the end in tow. Years later Yakushimaru runs Kyoto as part of the Council of Three with Yase and Kurama. As they await the return of their mother and father, a girl who bears resemblance to both Mayo and Koto, whose name is also Koto, finds her way into Kyoto, a feat never before achieved. Koto spends her days in Kyoto living with Mayo, searching for a way to return home, while also trying to find clues about her own family. Eventually Kurama manages to hatch a plan with the use of the adamantine giant Bishimaru and Koto to force open the gate leading to Kyoto, allowing Lady Koto to return. Her return however, threatens to destroy the entire multiverse and draws the negative attention of the shrine a mysterious organization that acts to keep the peace of the multiverse. Thank you for watching. Like and comment. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.